Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. Welcome in. This is the Connected Conduit. This is going to be a general love reading for the collective. So you can take the parts that resonate with you and just toss out the rest. So the message that I'm getting is basically like go with the flow, say yes. That's been like a big message coming through lately. Um, I feel like for most of you, you're going to have many options when it comes to love. The Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Swords fell out. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I'm getting sort of this avoidant energy um, from the collective when it comes to... I feel like the collective have been receiving offers or will be receiving offers. And there's going to be a knee-jerk reaction to like run away or avoid this person or these people. <laughs> Um, that's just what I'm picking up. Yeah, there's going to be this desire or this urge to sort of stay in your cave, so to, so to speak, you know, um, maybe take some time alone. I feel like the majority of the, co the collective that I'm speaking with, um, have been in hermit mode for quite some time. And it's, it's almost like being out of the dating game for a while, or you're just used to being on your own. And so there's a bit of nerves attached to dating as well. That's definitely something I'm picking up. And I feel like a lot of you are feeling, <laughs> I can see like a rusty wheel that's like squeaking and like a need to add a little WD-40 to it, basically. It's like, <laughs> um, just like a squeaky wheel that just hasn't been in use for quite some time, so to speak, right? Um, that's just the imagery that I'm getting. So, yeah, King of Cups. I feel like you do have somebody coming towards you, but you're knee-jerk reaction is going to be to push them away or run or avoid them <laughs> and it could be because of something that happened to you in the past with a different partner or maybe you know what you've seen of relationships you know has made you just not really sure if you even want to involve yourself in one right now That's just the energy I'm picking up on. But you have somebody trying to manifest you. Um, I feel like subconsciously you do want love, but there is a part of you that is afraid. Afraid of getting hurt. Afraid of things moving too fast. Afraid of change. Right? Especially if you've been on your own for quite some time. It's quite an adjustment opening up to somebody and letting them into your life. Right? Aww. Let's see what the advice is for you. What is the advice? Whoa, that came out fast. <laughs> King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles as your advice. Um... It's basically telling you, like, rest assured, you can trust this person. They are stable, grounded, loyal, trustworthy. I'm hearing easy on the eyes. They have a very kind heart. This person is going to be very patient with you. And that nature, their patient, loving way is going to really get into your heart space. And I see that you are going to open up and trust this person. Mm -hmm. I just see them being very patient with you. Well, Eight of Cups. 
Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is all about leaving behind your Eight of Cups, something that was unfulfilling, in order to walk towards your Ten of Cups, which is ultimate fulfillment. So your, the advice that's coming through, the message that's coming through with this is that, you know, it is a journey. It's a journey. It's not a destination. And basically embrace it and enjoy the ride. You know, you don't have to, to worry. I feel like this person who's coming in for you, they are very, very sweet. Ace of Pentacles. So this could lead to something very solid for some of you, an engagement later on. But this is all about taking a seed and planting it and then nurturing it and having it grow. But this has the potential to be extremely solid and stable. The moon. You just want to be careful that you're, you want to be aware right of sort of these subconscious fears or thoughts that you're having surrounding relationships um whoever i'm picking up on i feel like you're used to you know having to push people away or maybe that's just something that you've done to protect yourself in the past um it's whoever I'm picking up on, it's almost like you prefer to stay in isolation because then you you can't get hurt. You're it's it's like you're in protective mode. Yeah. You're trying to protect your peace, um, which is understandable, but in doing so, you know, you're pushing pushing good people away along with the bad. So this is where discernment comes in right and giving people you know a chance to prove themselves instead of just saying a flat out no to everybody right you can go slow take it easy no need to rush right again it's a journey not a destination and anybody who understands healthy relationships will will respect that right yeah four of pentacles again it's like this protective mode that you've been in Guarding your heart, keeping things to yourself. Look how he's clutching that pentacle to his chest. It's protection mode, protection mode you've been in. I can, I can totally sense it. For some of you, you did deal with somebody who was... Um, of a low, lower vibration, someone who could have just basically been untrustworthy, okay? And they violated your trust. And it really sent you into a bit of a spiral. And um, yeah, it's been really difficult for you to sort of step out of that hermit mode ever since. So that's what I'm picking up on. But there is somebody in your energy who is genuine they're emotionally balanced. They could be a past life soulmate, okay? The Six of Cups can represent that, or they can represent somebody from your past or your childhood, someone you knew as a child. I feel like deep down it's something, love is something you want. You do want a loving, caring relationship. But yes, there is all this sort of fear surrounding it because of your past, which is completely understandable. And I feel like you haven't, you know, been in the game, the dating game for quite some time. So you might feel rusty. Um, just know that this person who's coming towards you, 
is going to be very pace, patient, very loving, very kind. They're going to see you for who you truly are, and they're going to just have an intuitive knowing as to why, you know, you might be trepidatious into, you know, with dating and things like that. They're going to know, they're going to understand. This definitely has the potential though to, to be a very solid, strong commitment with somebody if you, if you wanted to, if you feel like you're able to open up to this person, just be rest assured that um, they're going to be very kind and loving and sincere, okay? Not like this past person or past situation you were dealing with. Yeah, you've been through something very painful, a tower moment, something that shook your whole world. Letting go of control can be the hardest thing to do. And I, you know, I completely understand that when you've been hurt, there's this knee jerk reaction to want to push everybody away, control the situation, um, con control, 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 stay to myself, protect my heart. Um, but the thing is, again, it's like you're going to be pushing, yes, maybe potential people like good people away as well with the bad so how do we discern right like how how do we discern I would say first step is to don't make decisions based out of fear try to be in like a neutral state be open to new people coming into your life um and give it a chance, give it a chance. You don't have to go super deep. You know, you can go, you know, just out for coffee or something and just see how you feel, see how it feels, sit with the feeling for a bit and um, just go from there. The Empress. See, this is all about being in an open receptive mode okay so you don't want to be in a closed down state where you're protecting yourself and you're closed off and pushing people away um, right because if you are trying to manifest love that's that's going to be very difficult for love to come in if you're still in in this energy right so spirits encouraging you to be in more of a receptive state, okay? Get into the sacred flow of yes. You don't have to say yes to everything or everyone, but um, yeah. Allow people to and energy to flow to you. Um, welcome it in. Go out on a date, see if it works, and then just go from there. But yeah, whoever I'm channeling for right now, there's just, you've been through a lot and you still have a lot of reservations surrounding relationships. And I see you working through those fears and preparing yourself to open up and you're almost there. You just need a little gentle nudge from spirit, um, you know, letting you know that you're safe, you're protected. The past is not going to repeat itself because you've learned those lessons and you're able to discern better now between who's right for you and who's wrong for you. And I see somebody very stable, loving, kind, patient, nurturing, who's going to understand you come into the picture okay and spirit saying make sure you don't push that person away give it a shot and see what happens okay it's a it's a journey not a destination you can work through those fears growth happens when we are challenged when we're pushed out of our comfort zone a little bit um, growth never happens when we're comfortable 
<laughs> right? So a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of unease is okay. Okay? You can do it. Spirit believes in you. The universe has your back. Okay, don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past influence your present moment and your future, right? Learn from the past, release it, and step, step forward with your, your life lessons, your ability to discern better, knowing what you will accept, what you won't accept in terms of a partner or other things like that in your life. Yeah, I see this relationship just really unfolding like a beautiful flower, just like gently and naturally over time. It's really lovely. Let's get a romance angel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this message was helpful. And um, if it was, I'd really appreciate it. If you would like, share and subscribe to my channel, that would be so wonderful. I'd appreciate that very, very much. Past life relationship. Yes, we see that. We see that right here with the Six of Cups. Remember I said this could be a past life relationship. Past life soulmate. That's confirmed. So that's why this person is going to just know you. Remember I said this person will just know you and understand you intuitively? It's because you've had a past life together. It's because you've had a past life together. Mm-hmm. And so they are just going to get you on a soul level. That is so beautiful. I love that for you. All right, I am sending you all so much love and light. I'm going to leave this message here. I hoped it was helpful and all the best along your journey. Until next time, take care.